Hey there. I wanted to talk to you before we get into our fast tomorrow so you guys can really be set up for success. So take a minute, grab out a piece of paper and a pen, and let's write down these couple of things so that you can really plan your fast and follow through with it. So number one, at the top of your paper, write this. I am here to change. Because fasting changes us. It changes us physically and it changes us mentally. And so you just need to be ready for that. So the second thing you want to write down is, why am I fasting? You need to really identify your purpose. Because if you don't have a purpose and you don't set this with intention, you're probably going to fall off. You're probably going to break that fast and then go, that was kind of a waste of my time. Why did I even do it? And there's actually proof that if somebody writes down their goal, they're 30% more likely to achieve it. So go ahead and write down your why. Identify your why. The next thing you want to do is get yourself three accountability buddies. Ideally, you would like to have somebody that's also fasting. So we have that Facebook support group. If you haven't connected with somebody, you know, buddy up with somebody and say, hey, can I have you as my accountability buddy? Or maybe you have a close family member or friend that would be willing to be a support to you. And you can say, hey, I want to do this fast. And I need you there when I have a moment of weakness so I can have somebody to reach out to and say, hey, I want to eat. Tell me not to. You know, so it's good to have a buddy. But have more than one because you might not be able to reach that one. And then you might not succeed if you don't have somebody to reach out to that's available. Um, so the next thing you want to do is identify any known obstacles that you think might come up during this fast. Um, you know, maybe it's that, you know, you have to go somewhere during your fast and there's going to be food that you usually love to eat. And you're going to go, I, I am going to smell this and I'm going to see it. And I got to figure out how to not cave. So write down any known obstacles during this three day fast. And then you want to write down some ideas for how to overcome them. So maybe it's, um, you know, going out, maybe you want to just take some deep breaths and just Sit inside, close your eyes, and just try to refocus and revisit that why, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is, you know, do, do something like go on a walk, go on a hike. Just distract yourself with something healthy, and that will kind of clear your head. I would not advise you to reach out to technology because that's typically not going to be there unless you're reaching out to somebody through your technology that's going to be your support person. Um, and then after you've identified those obstacles and how you're going to deal with them, set yourself up some rewards because when you're fasting, you're going to have a lot more time on your hands and you're going to need to figure out things that you can do to kind of like reward yourself for sticking to it. So maybe it's a wonderful Epsom salt detox bath. So get yourself some great Epsom salts, maybe get some with the essential oils in it so you can just enjoy that bath and relax. Maybe you want to schedule a massage. Um, you could also go and do yoga. You could, you could, there's different things you could do. You know, maybe it's just go get your favorite cup of tea, you know, do something that can reward yourself for sticking with this and not breaking your fast. And then lastly, um, be flexible knowing that we set plans and sometimes things have a way of changing and we have to make an adjustment. So be willing to let yourself change if it's needed. Now you want to always call your support buddy before you just go, oh, I'm breaking my fast. I don't care. I don't need to do this and justifying in your own head. You definitely need to at least inform another person that you're planning on making a change to your plan. Maybe you get to, let's say you get to day two and you're just really struggling and you feel like no matter what you've done, no matter how you've tried to go through different things, it's just not happening. You're going to break your fast. First, if you're going to do that, I would recommend Break it with broth. So like bone broth, if you're vegetarian, vegetable broth. See if you can get by with just one cup of broth and keep fasting. Now that did break your fast, but if you stay under 200 calories, you're still going to get a lot of the autophagy effects and you can keep going and see maybe just doing that one cup of broth will let you keep going until the 72 hours. So just be willing to make an adjustment if it's needed. And then the last thing before I forget, make sure that you take a weigh-in, do pictures, and measurements because you're wanting to see these changes. And I'm telling you, even in three days, there is going to be marked changes. Definitely physically, but even more so mentally. So I really encourage you, take a minute to journal, write down your experience, and then share that. Either share that on the fasting page group, um, share that with your fasting buddy. Um, you know, just express how this experience was for you. And that's kind of why I created that Facebook group 
because I really want us to have the opportunity to ask questions and to share struggles and to be there to support one another when we're doing this. So if you haven't been added to the Facebook group and you're interested in it, please just put your name below in the comments or reach out to me through Facebook Messenger at Casey Relaine and I will add you to the group. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel to stay up to date. And I will be doing more videos this weekend to let you guys know how things are going and to kind of be there for you because I know not everybody is on Facebook. So I want to be here and present for those of you that are only here through YouTube. Awesome. I look forward to this fast, guys. Talk to you tomorrow.